Kendrick Lamar and Drizzy Drake both dropped his tracks last night. Oh, this nigga getting in over there. Yeah, Meet the Grimms might be the best diss of this whole back and forth. Let's get into these lyrics. Kendrick says this to Drake's mom. Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest of their lives. Out of the future and Metro's and Kendrick's and Drake's and Rick Ross and ASAP Rockies and everyone that's involved, this meet the Grams might have been the best joint. Drake dropped Family Matters, fire title. I believe it's about seven minutes. The video is tactful because he's taken the car from Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid Mad City cover, which I think is like a childhood car. He tows it, crushes it in a place where you crush cars and whatnot. So that's obviously an insult to injury with the diss. I think that this was a, like a solid diss. Really solid, really, really solid, like really dope. So my only takeaway is that Kendrick Lamar responded in like, like an hour or some shit like that, less than an hour or something, something like that. It's like Drake dropped, I heard it, went to sleep. When I woke up, Kendrick Lamar shit was out. And I was just like, at first I was like, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. Cause Kendrick really, that I, I wasn't really impressed. Or I didn't think the um, euphoria, euphoria. I, I didn't really fuck with euphoria like that. I think the 616 in LA was better. I gotta, yo, I'm about to have to like go through all these again because this is, this is a lot of music. Someone in the comments said, J. Cole, glad he stayed out or else we probably would have found out he gluten free. As funny as that is, there is some truth to that. Mad Skeletons probably would have came out about J. Cole and his family that nobody like that. I know that J. Cole wasn't trying to like, he probably knew how deep this shit was gonna get. I was like, nah, I cannot, I'm not doing this. I don't even care. It don't got that much replay value. Like, niggas ain't about to be playing that at no, no barbecues or cookouts or in the club or whatever. But as far as lyrically top tier and then like conceptually and as far as like picking apart different things within Drake, like, so the Meet the Grams was basically he was talking to each member in Drake's like core family. Like he talks to his mom, like dear Sandra. He talks to his dad. He talks to his son. He talks to this alleged daughter that is new news to the table. Meet the Grams was, is probably the best diss towards Drake I've ever heard. It's definitely up there. It's definitely better than Meek shit. It's definitely better than the Pusha shit. It's, it's, it's probably, it might even be the best, at, in this whole rap war, it might be the best diss thus far. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, the third diss. <laughs> the third diss, all right. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. You know what I mean? You're supposed to get disrespectful. A diss record is supposed to be dissing a motherfucker, saying some disrespectful shit. All right. You know what I mean? All right, the dark skin coming back. <laughs> Someone in the comments said, unfortunately, Drake lost the beef if he does have a daughter. I agree with this one. If it comes out that Drake has another freaking closet child that he's keeping from the protecting for the world hiding from the world type shit it that is i think that would be like an automatic l because you're lose that would be a loss you lost the same way you lost the last time even though the world thinks that he like pushed t1 that shit but it's just like that, that shit was so dumb. And that, that, this shit is way more serious and way more fire than that Push D shit. Um, but yeah, I, I hope for Drake's sake, there ain't no daughter, there ain't no other son, there ain't no more kids because it would look bad on Drake. Not only was the response time insane, insane. He responded back same night. Not only was the response time insane, but the response 
itself to a family matters and meet the grams. This, this shit is crazy. Someone in the comments said Kendrick completely destroyed him and we honestly need to be looking at Drake different if those allegations are true, which I kind of believe they are. Uh, well, yeah, there's no question. If the allegations are true, then it's on some Diddy shit, it's on some Mark Kelly shit. And I, I don't think they're true. I think that it's a narrative that Kendrick is now running with and it sounds, it sounds great for a diss or a beef like rap like rap this rap war rap feud we got going on so it's just like it's it's it sounds really good for what Kendrick's trying to do so it's just like I don't think it's true but if it is true obviously obviously needs to be looked into but Kendrick Kendrick did Kendrick did damage with this last track with this fucking meet the grams he did a lot of damage and it's no wonder why Cole wanted no parts in this shit because if you couldn't stomach it, if it didn't sit with right with your spirit with the seven minute drill that one track, you he was definitely not trying to go track for track for track for track for track for track because this shit is ridiculous. And I'm and it's, and it's sad too because Cole will be probably be killing shit right now. If he was if he had the heart for it, he'd probably be killing shit right now. Someone in the comments said J. Cole really made the right choice to sit out with this one. I don't blame him. <laughs> yeah, man. I, uh, not I can't, I can't say that I don't blame him. I can say I get it, but at the same time, couldn't be me. We going down. If we going down, we going down <laughs> type shit. Cause it's like, I'm not about to be like, I apologize. Yo man, I apologize. I got my chin out. If you trying to, if you try to swing, it's, it's, my chin's out there. Nah, nah, man. J. Cole, rap legend. Supposed to be a rap legend. And like this, this was not, that still wasn't it. Like even if they going, if they're going crazy, if you the top dog, you supposed to be going crazy with him. Drake is going crazy with Kendrick. Kendrick is going crazy with Drake. J. Cole should be in there going crazy. And honestly, J. Cole would be on, would kind of be on Drake's side or his own side. I don't know. In a in a in a in an alternate universe, J. Cole is involved in this rap beef, this rap feud, this rap war, and it's a fire thing to witness. I went back and heard Drake's Family Matters. So I, I heard it when it first came out and I heard it, I listened to it again this morning. But man, that, that meet the Grams. That meet the Grams was something crazy. If I had to say, give like a definitive who's up, we need, we need a real scoreboard with this shit because now it's getting like, niggas gotta calculate shit. But it's either tied or Kendrick's up a little bit. Because, like I said, Drake Drake dropped a seven minute joint after the uh, six six sixteen in LA. Um, so he dropped that promptly, fire, and it came out fire. Three beats, which is talked his shit, and then just talked about Kendrick. Talked about Kendrick. I think he had bars for ASAP Rocky, Rick Ross, Future in there. Fire, fire. But then when Kendrick came back, probably the fastest response. In history. Oh, actually, Rick Ross had a fast ass response too, so. But Kendrick shit was way better. This shit, this shit crazy. This shit is nutty. Um, but bravo to Kendrick. Cause I was down you. I I was saying you wasn't built for this, but shit. You you that's this what we was this what we was waiting for. This is what we wanted to see. Um so yeah, it's either tied. Drake and Kendrick are either tied or Kendrick got him by a little bit. Like if it's if it's if like Drake might be down too. Like like if this was like a uh a playoff series or whatever, like points wise or whatever. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let's talk about this because this has been a hell of a month. Since like that, ain't nothing been the same. And as always, if you like this video, make sure that you check out the rest of my videos. I got a fire channel on here. I got a fire podcast on here with different episodes. We joke, we laugh, we play games, we talk about dating, music, the whole nine. So make sure you check out the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the channel, comment, share with the friends. No gatekeeping. Make sure you share to everybody that you know because we are going up in 2024. Make sure you leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of the video. Until next time, peace.